in today's video, we're going to be converting a string to follow a certain naming convention. Now, this might be useful if you're automatically generating something where you took the string from a user input and you want to convert that into a file name or some kind of class where it needs to follow a certain convention. Now, there's a bunch of different conventions and I can't possibly cover all of them, but I've covered some of the most popular ones and hopefully this can help you to convert your string into follow one of these naming conventions. Now, I'm not going to be explaining things like map and split and two uppercase since you should already know how those work. I'm just going to be showing you how to combine these to convert your string into these different naming conventions. So the first one here, we have capital first letter starting with lowercase. And you can see that this just has the lowercase starting and then there's no spaces and then the rest is just uppercase. And here you can see where it's just uppercase. So all of the words are starting with an uppercase. And then we have a hyphen. So it's just essentially two lowercase and then all of the spaces are replaced by hyphens. And this is the same with underscore. And here we are starting with an underscore and then all letters are lowercase except the first letter in the word. And the last one down here is just all uppercase where all of the spaces are removed. So I hope that you can see how I'm doing all this and I've actually used a lot of stuff from other functions. So you can certainly, if you want this function here, but you want it with this lowercase word, you can certainly do that. You can just go ahead and copy paste one of these functions with whatever feature you want and copy paste that and sort of generate the format that you want. So I know this video has been very quick, but I felt like it's pretty good to have a video on it because then you guys can quickly Google it or have it in the back of your mind whenever you are having to follow some kind of naming convention. And then you have a quick video to just watch and get the information you need. And I will also have this code down below on GitHub so you can go ahead and copy paste all these functions. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully see you in the next one.